Hey y'all, so I hope everyone is doing great. So today we are going to have a little fun. This vlog, we are going to play a game and we are going to play Black Card Revoked. Um, it's our first time playing this game. So I just picked it up from Target today. I've never played it. I have no idea what we're getting ourselves into. You guys let us know if you played that game because we wanna know your thoughts and yeah. We're just sitting here at the table. Javon's right here. He didn't make my drink. Did you didn't bring your glass? Uh, I think it's, I thought yeah. I brought it. It's probably upstairs somewhere. Oh, my bad. See, I should like to try to tell him on me. It didn't be wrong. <laughs> it's so wrong. And look at him. I'm over here reading the rules so she could be playing the game right. You don't have to read the rules. I think we just need to play the game. Got, it's so, no rules so, needed. <laughs> stop, Jess. Please read the rules, okay? Oh so gosh. you know we got these. The video is playing. This is on title right now. We're not. We're gonna have it mute because we can't have the music playing. Yeah, and you, you kind of. I'm sure you're gonna want to know. You know how we vibing and everything like that, and how we answering the question, how we doing well. Jess is really good at trivia. Too Thank bad you. I'm not too shabby myself, right? Uh, so this will get competitive. Um, we're talking about black culture here, and yeah. Justin and I, we, we're we're in that thing, you yeah, know what I mean? Are. And we're very prideful about culture. We love it. So this is, I can see this getting very competitive, Jess. I can too. Yeah. Yeah. Already. So in in the spirit of competition and and, and good sportsmanship, made the best black person win. <laughs> Let me go get my drink and well my cup so he can make my drink game. for me and we're Yeah, we're game. getting ready to play this game because I want to have fun tonight I think we're gonna have a lot of fun. So I want y'all to come along with us on this journey while we're playing this game All right, so I'm pretty confident. I'm gonna win this game So, you know, I'm so just confident? Because I think I know more black things than you who you think gonna win me or Javon, and you can't fast forward this video. I need y'all to do it right now. When y'all see this part of the video, I need you to come in right now and say Javon or Jess. You can say, I got my money on Jess, got my money on Javon, whatever makes you. <laughs> well, look how he's looking. <laughs> Family, don't be, don't be silly, okay? <laughs> I was gonna say something else. Don't be silly. You know why he's like this, y'all? He wins like every single game. Every single, every single game. I've never seen someone win so many games in my entire life. Like he's always winning games. Cause I read the rules. Okay, you you read the rules. That's why you win the games. Yeah. Like you can, no, you read them so yeah. you can get over on people. Yeah. I'm the one that's, that's, that's keeping but score. What is this? What are these numbers? It's a countdown. We're gonna play um, points for both. There's multiple ways of playing. We have uh, Black Card Revolt uh, 21, and that's when you take a shot every time you get an answer wrong. Oh, we should have played that one instead. No, Jess, you need your support. Actually, you say no because you're afraid that you're you going to be taking support. a lot of shots. I'm not going to be taking shots. I'll probably take, take like... one shot, you want to be under the No, table. no, I would not. I actually think it's going to be you. I like, you're afraid to, right just, now. I want to play the game. And if, see, you see what he's doing, y'all? You, you see you how he manipulated the game, game so it's in his favor? <sighs> Because I would have said, you're going to do the shots. Oh my God, do you really think you can drink more than me? Are you saying that? Of course I can. <laughs> you see why you should vote for me? Family, vote for me right now. This girl is delusional. <laughs> oh, now you see why I win everything. Oh, this delusion is it's all over the place. Anyway, moving on. Then they have a sanctified one. Uh, where yeah. Play that on Sunday. Get, if you get an answer incorrect... You have to read a verse from the Bible and ask for forgiveness from the other players. What? How crazy is oh, that? Oh, that one's wild. We're going to have to try to play that version one day. I know we're all Christian. Well, a lot of us are, you know, but that's, 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 that's actually, a lot. Points for vote. That's, that's the way that we're going to play. You start with 10 points. Every point that you miss, you lose a point down into the last man standing or woman standing. It's the winner. Okay. That's what we want to play. I think, I think that's good. And my hope is, is that depending on how the game goes, yeah, you know, if it's like we're 30 cards in and we just want to play one game. Okay. But if we're like a quick 10 and out, like these, these questions are that difficult to answer, then we'll do a couple games. All right, y'all. 
we're about to play the game, okay? So we're getting started. So who goes first? Does it go like, you know, who's the youngest so or? Ladies first, I'll let you know. Oh, that's so I, sweet. Thank you so much. I asked you the first question. I no, you said ladies first. That means I'm supposed to ask you the question. That's how it works. Ladies first. I'm giving you the first chance to lose. No. 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 Ladies or first means I, mean, I give you a chance I'm to lose. You the first chance to win a point. Okay. Answer the question. A scrub is a blank. A, a cleaning device. B, an outfit worn by doctors. C, a beauty product. Or D, a guy that can't get no love from me. You got 10 seconds. D, a guy that can't get no love from me. I you win. Put it on the table. Oh, here, or do y'all see this? Do y'all see does this? It count? Did you see this? You see what I'm talking about? What, the rules? I gave you the I have rules. To, I have to sit it on I'm the table. On the table. What do you stand for? I gave you the right answer. You literally just said I have to put it on the table so that it doesn't count. Yeah, so, Jess, this is going to go bad if you can't follow the rules. Because okay. Because when you want to start changing up your answer. Okay, I'm going to do no, you this. I said the guy who hit the scroll <laughs> in, the, in the doctor. I said that. Y'all heard me, baby. You heard me say that. Y'all see what I'm talking about? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? This way we'll find loopholes <laughs> in everything. No, there's no loophole. I told you, Jay. No, this, I gave this, you the right this, answer. Get rid of I gave you the right You're already cutting no, up. You're you already cutting up. How do you know it's the right answer? I didn't tell you what the y answer see what Y'all see what I'm talking about? I just said, you basically you put I the gave card. him the right answer. And he's like, oh, but you got to put it on the table. Okay, I'll give you that same energy when it's your turn, Mr. Man. It's my rule. It's your rule to put your answer. Y'all see what I you see what I mean when I play games with this guy? Come on. You stretching this way too far. Uh, I'm stretching it. Okay. You stretching this way too. Actually, far. Actually, I'm not. Are you but, done? But thanks for letting me Are know. I'm gonna have an answer that I choose that is the most black. Jess, when you choose your majority wins, you are gonna choose oh, so the answer it, that you feel is oh, most black. Oh, so you telling me like? The fate of this game is based on whatever we choose now. No, only the majority rules. How do you know you're getting that? I didn't. It says majority rules. Honey. All these cards say majority. No, not all of them. Not all of them. Do you see how he's confusing no, the simple what I'm saying a to game? Is, is that there is no correct answer because it's just me and you. The majority will say this is the answer. But we don't have an audience. Exactly. But exactly. actually, we do technically so because we're on YouTube and they're going to put that in there. You're not here real time. Yeah, well, we're going to go back and recount these answers after this video is done because they're going to be like, no, that's right. No. <laughs> no. What do you mean? Inception going down deeper, deeper. No, there's only one game. We want to have one winner and it's going to be chosen right now. Y'all see what I'm talking about? What do you eat on your grits? A, cheese, B, salt and pepper, C, sugar, and D, butter. You're already giving away answers. Why would you say, uh, why would you do that? Because yuck, you don't put sugar on your grits. Well, you know what, fam? <clears throat> this one is a tough one. Because like salt and pepper, eh, cheese though, that's, I put cheese on my grits, man. You but eat bland I like a little. Cheese. I like a little salt on my grits. I like a little butter on my grits too. Like, should be who, all the above who just actually. do? Yeah, it should be like all of the above. Right, it's the sugar. Yeah, so I, I don't know. I don't know what black people are doing. I'm from the south. I like a little cheese on my grits. I'm gonna go with cheese. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the cheese or salt and pepper. Yeah, now see, you supposed to put that the answer down, but you already gave me the. Um, which, which, uh... That was a gimme because I love you, so I just gave you something that just makes you feel better Jess. about yourself. Thank you, Thank you. Because you're about to start feeling. Thank you. So, A is cheese, B is salt and pepper, C is sugar, and D is butter. A, That's cheese. my answer. Your grits my still going to be kind of bland, though. Cause it cheese. is going to be bland. I probably would go for the salt and pepper before the cheese. No, nah, I, I, I go with I cheese. I go to cheese before I go to salt. Okay, I, fine. I, I, fine. All right, I'll let you have here's that how, Here's see, how, here's how. This is the first one, so I'm going to let you have that. Here's how bad my obsession with cheese is. I'm lactose intolerant. He really is, y'all. And I still will put cheese on there above salt, pepper, and butter. 
That's just how I feel. I would definitely put some salt and pepper on my grits before some cheese. Oh my gosh, this is tough. You need I need like five other people in this room. Like Yeah, we need to we need no, to deal with like five. a group. That's an odd number. I need like, like two more people? people? Oh, six? Yeah, I need an even amount of people. Shut up. I can make eight, four people on that team, four people on this team, or even like break it down to like, you know, three teams. Okay, lay it on me. Come on. All right. What is the best music movie of all times? A, The Five Heartbeats. B, The Wiz. C, The Temptations. Or D, Purple Rain. The first answer I went with immediately was The Wiz, because that's a black folks classic with Diana Rose, you know, Michael Jackson. And they got the five heartbeats too. Then you have the other shows, the other movies. Oh my gosh. Temptation is really good too. But I'm gonna go with The Wiz. That's your final answer? Yes. How do you do that? Because it's a black. I said how? Put your card on the table. What was the choice? What letter was it? Okay. I forgot. I'll give it back to you. I got caught up with the names. A, Five Heartbeats. B, The Wiz. C, The Temptations. Or D, Purple Rain. I'm still saying The Wiz. Five Heartbeats is good, but it's only like one song that everybody remembers from the Five Heartbeats. That's why I'm not going with that one. The Temptations was about emotion. And Nas remixed that song too. Yeah. Uh, or got a cut from that. Yeah. That and so like with The Temptations, yeah, that's a good movie, right? But it's kind of like you were going in the whole motion, right, with all their personalities. And then what was the last one? Purple Rain. Purple Rain. Purple good, Rain. But it's like Purple Rain. It's really good, but it's not like... The Wiz. The Wiz is a black classic. It's like the Wizard of Oz with a black spin on it. I'm going with the Wiz. Okay. That's B, right? The Wiz is B. Okay, I'm going with B, the Wiz. Sorry, Jess. That He's answer gonna say the five wrong. heartbeats, I promise no. y'all. I said C. Um let it get it get in there. C Temptations. Boo, boo, boo. I know. See, so, you know what? We don't this have a majority. Because it's like, I, I chose people. the answer. I don't like she that. She got to get with that. I don't like she that. She chose, and look, look, the, all these answers was phenomenal. The Wiz phenomenal movies. way more musical features in it. I'm not saying, what, you talking about artists? You talking about no, Diana Ross and Michael Jackson? Michael Jackson, My, Michael Jackson Diana Ross. Yeah. There's a whole bunch of people and other guys who forgot their names, but look, it's I like the you. Wizard of Oz. They're always singing you. nonstop. I got you. I got you. All the other movies had that side line drama stuff. Ain't nobody, on. ain't nobody come to see you, Otis. Come on, man. You even choose the Temptations. It said the greatest music movie. You chose the Temptations. I chose it for you. That's the answer. That's the, see. You had to choose the right I see why answer. Now I really like this game. <laughs> you ready for this one? No. All right, you ready? Who's the funniest comedian of the last twenty years? Oh my God. A. Chris Rock. Jess, you don't have the answer. B. You don't have the answer, Sway. <laughs> B. Bernie Mac. C. Martin Lawrence. Or D. Dave Chappelle. Golly. Jess, you don't have the answer, That's Sway. What I, do. I know who my You don't is. have the answer, Sway. I know who it is. Let me read again. A. Chris Rock. No. B, Bernie Mac. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna throw down D. I'm gonna throw the D down. Regardless, Jess, you're going to get some D tonight, so what is your answer? What did you say? Let me see your stupid card. I said D, okay. David Chappelle. There you go. There you go. My Virgo brother, How David. Far? I love Dave Chappelle. All right, Jess, so actually I'm winning right now. David is funny. Yeah, so uh, let me let me get the... Uh, so so like really Jess... I put David Chappelle, y'all, because I call him David. Oh, you just had to put a D. You didn't have to do all that. I know, but I just want to read his name. Oh, my gosh. Well, you know what? Thank See? you for doing all that. You're welcome. Yeah. 
I hope you. I hope you win. You need to give me some. I hope you win, Jess. I no, you did well. You did well. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. Keep up the good work. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yes. Why is taking you forever to read it? No, it's not about reading. It's about. Hey, don't get ink on my um sofa now. You got that book right there. That's where it needs to go. I'm sorry, guys. Can't she help you. You gotta tell like somebody's grandma. Let me bring the ink on No, because y'all just don't be knowing. Nah, nah. All right. Tommy from Martin. Oh, my goodness. What was his real job, more than likely? A, a stripper. B, a youth counselor. C, a drug dealer, or D, collecting unemployment. You got two seconds. He was a youth counselor. <laughs> Why are you laughing? That's facts. It's true. What is what 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 job does you Tommy got have? Job, but he really was a youth counselor. They had a whole episode about that. So in fact, Martin came one episode and he had to be Santa Claus for those bad behind kids at Tommy's Youth Center. It's a whole episode around that. He was a youth counselor, okay? Okay. And you about to say unemployment because you think, oh, you ain't got no job. But Tommy really did have a job. They talk about it every now and then. I'm telling the truth. Just put your answer on the table. What? Put your answer on the table. I it was. Oh, God, Lee, just... You say it too fast. A, stripper. B, youth counselor. Yes, B. C, drug dealer. Or D, collecting unemployment. B, youth counselor. No. No, that's not fair. No. Tommy really no. was He will go down there. He was a volunteer. He was a volunteer. He ain't got no job, Jess. Yeah, I mean he's gonna do that. He ain't got no job. Everybody knows he ain't got no job. Tommy has a you job. You ain't got no Why job, Tommy. Say he didn't have a you job. ain't got no job, Tommy. Yeah. Okay, I'll let you have that. I mean, you, I'm going to get hard on you. So I'm about to go in. Jess, that's the truth. He ain't got no job. All right, I'm going to go in on you because you're playing really tough right no, now. No, we're not he playing there. Good. I'm going to go in on you. <laughs> because, yo, he really did have a job as a youth counselor. He talked about the kids a couple, talked about the kids a couple of times on that show. Yeah, well. So I put the answer as a, a D. Of course you did. And she chose a B. B. And she beta. lost another point. Not D as in Delta. Okay. I lost another point. And you should have chose Delta. Do better next time. Which soap opera did your grandma make you watch with her? A. As the world turns. Y'all should see his face right now. B. Guiding light. <laughs> C, the young and the restless. Oh my gosh. And D, days of our lives. Good. <laughs> Come on. Uh, everybody's grandma is different. So, it's my answer. It, see, I said the blackest answer. I didn't say your your own answer. What's the blackest answer? Maybe the blackest answer that everybody grandma watch. I don't know. Is it see Young the Restless? Oh, you're so lame. Thank yes, you, man. Come on. Because I, so I, I told the blackest answer. Do you know how the theme song sounds? You know what color the branding is? What color is the branding? That's a bonus. I don't. Red and white, no. blue and green, black and white. What's the brand? So I used to. So I think I got sick one time, and I was <laughs> I was sick enough so to real. be out of school for like three three days or so. It was something like that. I was out of school for like three days. At least you were sick. I got sick. And and I was with my grandma, and we was watching soaps, and she was watching all of them. Yeah, it was like the Young and Restless. It was like General Hospital. We was watching like. Um, all my children. I'm surprised they didn't pick all my children. Straight up. Like, any of those would have been right. My grandma always did Young and Restless. Young, Young and, and Restless, Restless was, was the one they talked about yeah. the most. Young and the Restless. She always watched Do that. they still do soaps? Yeah, I think we don't watch it because I don't know. I don't even see it on TV. It. They, don't, they don't promote it. Javon, we be working. You mean... <laughs> 
I'm gonna keep it real. Oh you gonna keep it real with these people, right? <laughs> so bad. Why do you have to be so dramatic every time you ask me a question? Cause I gotta figure you out just what the answer to, is. You're just trying to wrap my anxiety up right now. Yeah, yeah, as I should be through the <laughs> Cause I'm, I, I don't know the answer. I'm putting the blackest answer I know. Okay, ask me the question. Hit me. All right. Bam, listen up. You can answer this question as well. Yeah, answer it on the spot, y'all. <laughs> Who was the first to clap back about Beyonce? A. What? The Beehive. B. Solange. C. Kanye West. Or D. Her mom. C. Kanye West. Because Taylor Swift, he went up there. He had drank like a whole bottle of Hennessy that, that night. Was early. Yeah, but he went off. So, so I'm going with Kanye. So what's the answer? I said Kanye. Oh, good. I got the point. Give me five. <laughs> See? So I said, she said, C. You're supposed to put your answer on the table. Oh my God. Why you gotta be like that? It doesn't Stop matter it. now. And I put C. So. Yeah, it's Kanye because Solange did it at the Met Gala. Like, so you know, when they were in happened. the elevator. Sorry. Yeah. I'm sure the Beehive came to her rescue many a times. Definitely Kanye the first time though. The MTV Awards, they gave her the music video for Single Lady. Oh, the Single Lady. Actually, yeah. no, she didn't get it. Taylor Swift beat her out exactly. for that one. And then Kanye jumped on stage. Yeah, so rude. So, who is the craziest reality show queen of all time? A, Nene Leakes. B, Jocelyn Hernandez. C, Tiffany New York Polar. Or D, Tommy Lee. This one's tough too, to me. It's two people that I'm like, oh my god. So, I told Jess, what's the blackest answer, right? So Jess doesn't do blackest answer. Jess, what's my answer? What? It's Are between you? it's between New York and Nini and Nini. I say Nini because Nini had a longer run. New York was wild. She was wild, but I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Nene because she had a longer run. So here's my answer, and I chose New York because New York was obsessed with Flavor Flav to the point where she'd be crying, having breakdown, she'd be sabotaging the other women. Like she was nuts over that guy. New York was down for the cause, okay? So that's why I chose New York. Here's my answer. Nene Lee had a much yeah, Nene, yes, Nene. She had a much longer run. She has way more quotables. So Actually, that's in New York it had it's no, so no, 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 right no. You had to, you had to be there in order to understand okay. New York. You had to be there. That New was York a long what? time ago. New York. Nene is much more around. relevant, and she's and been around for much more years, and she has a much bigger play platform. N yes, Nene is amazing. Real Housewives of Atlanta is much bigger New than York Favor is the Flav. OG, okay. In okay. New York. Yeah. New York is the OG. Just, just missed the the. She, she got to choose the answer. Y'all tell us what you think. Yeah, you, y'all, 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 y'all let us know. I think it's between New let York us and know. Tommy because Jess, you missed it. Too. You Tommy missed it. Wild too. You missed it. You witness a fight. What do you do next? <laughs> a. Call the police. B. Film it with your camera phone. C. Break it up. Or D, yell, world star. D, yell, world star. No. No, I'll call the police. No, you're not. Javon, are you, are you serious? Yes, that's, that's true. That is not true. That's Black not. people would not do that. Black people would say world star. The fact, you trying to get back at me right now. You're not playing fair. You're playing dirty. What are you talking about? Are you serious right now? You gonna I'm call the police? You gonna call the police? Yeah. Out of the blackest thing, you gonna call the police? It seems pretty black to me. No, actually, it's not. We're gonna say World Star. We're gonna film it. Just, That's I'm the black. second thing you're gonna do. I'm not gonna yell World Star. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna call the police. <laughs> Y'all <Yep. I'm> get <laughs> Y'all see how he's starting to play right now? See, this is what I'm talking about. He he's losing. 
You start playing dirty. You're playing dirty right yes, now. Yes, you play dirty. First How am I playing about? dirty? How am I playing dirty? Tell me. What did I do? Oh, okay, you're gonna call the police. All right. Your black card is revoked, Javon. Members of the hood community would probably <laughs> yell. Yeah, Yo, he's trying to get back song. at me. He's just mad about the what last one. What I'm saying one. to you is, mm -hmm. is that I believe. Okay, Javon. In this neighborhood, yeah. you would probably call. We just name. say this neighborhood, it's the game. Yes, I chose the answer that I thought You are something most else, boy. I'll tell you. To okay. the black community in this situation. All right. Okay. Gotcha. What is the best comedy movie of all time? A. House Party. B. Coming to America. C. Pootie Tang. D. Harlem Nights. E. Friday. Do they really have an E? I don't have an E. <laughs> Option. That was a trick question. Just, I don't have time for your quick, <laughs> your BS. Okay. What are the options? Okay, A, house party, B, coming to America, C, Friday, or D, Harlem Nights. I'm gonna say D, Friday. No, 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 I'm gonna say Friday. What are, what are C, C, Friday. Correct, that's what I got too, okay. other that, but. Cause it's like A house party, B coming to America, C Friday, D house party. Oh, all of them have quotables. They do all have of them. quotables, but I really feel like Friday was like super funny. I think Friday was more funny for our generation. Yeah. Um, Pootie Tang, I threw that in there because it's like one of my favorites. <laughs> yeah, you're just being silly. This girl is so silly. I really like Pootie Tang. I know you do. You know when that guy injured on the job and a gorilla came? Which room? Were you not allowed in in grandma's house? That's not tough. Go ahead. Okay. Give it to me without the answer. The Maybe living room? I think so? Yes. Okay. A, the living room. B, her all white room. C, her dining room. Or D, her bedroom. Living room. It could, it's between living room and dining room, but my grandma, you can't go in the living room. Like, that living room was off limits. So I'm going with A, the living room. Like, you couldn't go in that living room. She wasn't playing. Yeah. We weren't allowed to go in there. Yeah. Like, I probably seen her go in her living room probably twice in my life. I said her, her dining room. Yeah, too. That it, one, too. It's it's really like either or because the dining room got the china. My grandma didn't let nobody go in that dining room either. Had the yeah. curio and the china and all that. Yeah. Yeah, and it's one of those rooms that's like it's all decked out. It's all, you know, it's it's for special cases. You could not go in that living room, boy. And I tell you. You have a room that has a television in it. That's like the family room. That was a family room. Yeah. And you have the living room. Which is kind of like a room with the plastic, the plastic on the sofas, the sofas and stuff. Yes. And you can't go in that room. And then she removed the plastic. Okay, so she got new furniture, but you still couldn't go in there. You're not allowed to go in there. Yeah. Like you would get your butt beat if you were just hanging out in that room, yeah. and the dining room. So it depends, I guess, on the person. But in my upbringing, living room you cannot go in that living room without an adult being there. Okay. I think the only time we would probably go there occasionally was Christmas. Yeah, yeah can't go in her living room. Yeah, this one. Y'all tell us what your grandma I'm did. Saying, like, was it living room? I'm to this question because <laughs> you know there, there's some answers on here that are very. You got like near peers. Yeah. Like, living room and dining room is too close. Yeah. Because dining room got the china and dining room got the. All the, the plates and all the nice stuff in there. Yeah. And, um, but some people, know? living rooms have yeah, both. Yeah, I put down the room. You put living room. There is no wrong answer. I can't give you yeah. the It's all good. So you got to give me that point. There is no point. You Actually, you points. have to give me that point. You can only lose points. You got to give me that point.
You can't gain points. You okay, gain fine. Points. All right, who's leading? Damn. Yeah, I wonder why. You and your lame behind rules. Which rapper would you bring back? A. Biggie. B. Tupac. C. Heavy D. D. Pepsi. MC. Pepsi. And you have to answer this question. You you gonna answer the most the blackest question? I we we need a majority. We don't we don't need a Jessica. I'm gonna say Tupac. Nope. Who are you bringing back, Jess? I say a Biggie. Okay. Because he had more hits than Tupac. Did he? Yeah, actually, he did. No, he did. Actually, he did. No, he did. Actually, he did. No, he did. He didn't have him like. Poppin', he did. And his music, like Tupac be on heart. Like I love Tupac. It's between both of them. But I feel okay. like Biggie had like more hits where you could just like okay, pop okay, to okay. To. Yeah, but like, who, what, what you gonna put up against, uh, dear mama? What you gonna put up dear, against? No, and I know that as keep a your head up. Point, okay. But what I'm trying to say for like commercial, what you gonna put up like, against? On the radio, Biggie was killing it. Like Biggie beats, Biggie sounds. To me, see, this is a no, debate. It, no, that, exactly, exactly. It, like, so, like so, Biggie had that whole, so Tupac I loved the people. The of, dun, Tupac, dun, dun. Tupac loved the people. What, what about I Ain't Mad at You? Okay, Shed so many tears. tears. Shed so many tears. What, what, what? All depressing. And you got Biggie. Hold on, Biggie, all his music Biggie was depressing. Had club bops. No, all music. No, like, see, see, you only listen to friends see and your friends, and we become friends. That's 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 Diddy. No, that's, that's Diddy. a Biggie song. That's Diddy. Diddy said you you reciting Diddy's you quotes. Big Papa. No, that's a Biggie song. Okay. I'm not saying that it's not a Biggie oh, song. Oh, and all the people that didn't believe in me, it was all a dream. Come that's on juicy. Now. I know. I know. That's Jess, a Biggie song. Jess, I know that. Hypnotize. I know that. Song. Yes. Yeah, come on. Now. Yes, you know naming a bunch of club songs. That's what I said. I'm no. You Tupac in the club. Yeah. You do? Yeah. Um, you gonna be in club listening to All them? Eyes on Me. Yeah. You My Ambitious like as a Rider. Yeah. Okay. Um, America's I'm Most Wanted. Not, America's like, Most Wanted. If With you're trying to be commercialized, Biggie California has Love. Biggie what are you has saying? Has what are you talking about, Jess? I feel like Biggie has more bops when it comes to like. No. 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 Um, I get around. I, I want to hear that I in the fucking around. club. What are you talking about? Yeah. All right, all right. How do you want it? I want to hear that in the club. What are you talking about? You want to hear yes. That? How do you want it with Joe to see your yeah, fucking no no KC JoJo? Yeah, you want to hear that in the club? What are you talking about, Jess? Okay, well that's my answer and that's final. Yeah, it, it's trash. Okay, you just to deal with it. It's trash. Sorry, not sorry. Okay. Give me a point. No. What are you doing? Do you <laughs> see what he's doing right now? We're done with this. No, we're not. Jess, your black card's been revoked.